Hey there, it's Jen, and I am putting together a little layout. This should probably go quickly. Um, using the Ali Edwards May Digital Stories by the Month kit. So what I've done is I've printed my photo. I printed off a 4x6 card, a 3x4 card with my journaling, and then I printed off the, um, the chipboard pieces and they're all circles, but they're wonky, so I'm just gonna hand cut them to use as embellishment. That photo does not belong on this layout. And then I also have a couple pieces of some paper that I've done some mixed media on with my jelly plate that I want to use up, and I'm going to cut my title out of one of them. I haven't decided on the blue or the yellow, although I'm leaning toward the yellow, so um, I'm just gonna put together a quick grid layout and talk you through the process. Okay, so I am going to create a grid layout here, so I'm just setting it up. You can see that this would be a great 6x8 pocket page if I wanted to keep it super simple. So you could do something similar, um, a similar look, a lot easier than what I did if that's your thing. Um, but what I'm doing now is I am cutting out my title from this yellow piece of mixed media paper. And I am spelling out the word goodness. And so I don't have quite enough room on that little piece that I have there to do all of my letters. And so I did a couple on this piece that's a little bit more orangey. And I'm going to do the O and the S. And I'll mix them all together so that you can't, uh, it's really not that big of a difference. The S was a little bit orangey for me, so I did find a way to kind of squeeze it onto the end of the other sheet. And it has a little bit of white on it, but it looks better, so I'm going to go with that. I will move this down here so that you can see what I'm doing. So I have this background that's from Felicity Jane. It's just a simple open dot, and I like a pattern like that for a background. I decided that I wanted to add a little bit more to this, and so I just squeezed out some paint and I'm using this like rubber spatula thing to just create three little stripes of paint there and it's so thin that it uh, dries fairly quickly but I do use my heat gun to just make sure it dries all the way before I start adhering things and I like how thin it is it was some Maggie Holmes paint from crate paper I can't remember where I got that but um, it was just so easy to uh, put on there and it, it was nice and thin so you can still see the dots through it. So here I've gone ahead and put my uh, elements down and I love that rainbow card. A lot of you'll see a lot of people using that rainbow card throughout the month. Um, I've seen the design team. I think pretty much everyone used it. It's just such a happy element, right? So I decide to move my stuff down and I'm going to move it to the left a little bit. And I just thought I wanted it a little off center. And so I'm going to move it down. And you can see a lot more of those little paint stripes on the right hand side. And I thought that was fun. So I'm going to pop up my entire title on some foam. And I'm not going to make you watch me add the foam to the back of it. But I'm really liking this, the foam adhesive rolls from scrapbook.com. And I am going to stamp the word the words grasping onto to complete my title grasping onto goodness uh, using these alphabet stamps that are from the type story kit from Allie Edwards but I think she also sells them in her shop on their own and if they if they are I'll link to them I'll link to uh, as many of the products that I can in the video description so be sure to check for that if you're interested and I'm using the Allie Edwards Black Butte uh, crafters ink pad and I am stamping out those letters and it doesn't need to be perfect so I'm not worrying too much about it um, I did get a little smudge on there so I used my Tombow mono sand eraser to kind of uh, buff that off a little bit it's kind of like sandpaper in an eraser so you can like scratch off the top layer of paper with it uh, and it will help with those smudges. So I'm just adhering my title. At the end I noticed is a little off like it's um, the G-O-O -O needs to be scooted up slightly but I was too lazy to fix it so <laughs> if you notice that then just let it go like I did. <laughs> um, 
So there I have my basic structure. I could, again, leave it here to keep it very simple. I'm, add, I'm looking up the date on my phone right now. I'm gonna add the date down on that journal card. And I'm using some close to my heart uh, Colonial White pigment ink. It's nice and juicy, so it gives a nice, like, really uh, bright white against the black. And now I am cutting out some of these circles from the uh, little chipboard sheet that I printed. And I don't think I mentioned this before, but I printed everything on my Epson Picture Mate 400, and I used uh, the Epson Premium Presentation Paper Matte uh, Paper to print them on. And it's like a it's like a photo paper, but it is obviously it's matte, and it. Um, the colors are so vibrant when you print on it. So it's what I like to use for printables. And now I am arranging some circles. So I've cut out some circles. I grabbed a, a few things from my stash from past kits. Um, I've got a chipboard piece that says bring on the sun in yellow. And then I have this rubber piece that says keep going in red. And I'm just looking for my red line tape to put behind it. And I'm going to trim off the excess and I'm, I'm thinking, is this where I want to finish it? I'm, I'm not sure. I definitely could have. Uh, but I decided that it needed something more. And so I looked at these cute little doodle bug heart clips, but decided that wasn't what I wanted. I looked through some puffy stickers. I'm just kind of like digging through some of my stash to see what I might want to add. And again, not sure. So I thought maybe enamel dots or hearts or something like that, and I just wasn't feeling it. Whenever I tap my fingers on my desk like you saw me do a second ago, that's kind of what I'm thinking, like, what should I do? And so I went to my little stash of these Bella Boulevard puffy, I have all of the hearts and stars in a variety of colors, and so I pulled out the black stars at first, uh, but they weren't quite the right color, so I pulled out the red ones. And I am going to use those as my embellishment. At this point, I was like, does this look like the 4th of July? But I decided it didn't. And even if it did, whatever, it was fine. So I'm just adding three little <laughs> three little stars to go with the, the little clusters of three circles. And then at this point, I was thinking, okay, well, now that I have those on there, I feel like I need a third cluster of circles. So I cut out another one of the yellow circles and I'm sorry it's cut off down there at the bottom a little bit um but I'm just going to create another cluster down there at the bottom and um the yellow circle came from the printable and then I'm also going to add a circle sticker and I'm looking for that now actually what I'm doing now is uh kind of rifling through all of my chipboard pieces and trying to see if there's anything but I end up going with a light blue um, sticker and then I used the bottom part I'm really sorry that I didn't realize that this was cut off but I used the bottom part of that keep going rubber circle that I trimmed off and I just stuck it down at the bottom I added um, three stars to that bottom cluster which you can see there now and now I'm adding some doodles and that is going to finish this layout so there's a bunch of close-up photos coming up and I hope that you enjoyed this layout. This is kind of my quick, easy way to use uh, like digital or printable elements, just uh, printing them off and cutting them out and throwing them on a page. So uh, if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment and you can find all of the products that I use linked in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. And if you wanna see more from me, be sure to check out these other videos and subscribe if you want to never miss a video from me. Thanks so much and I hope to see you again soon.